So what I'm going to show here is how to bring work order data into Trimble Business Center and view the results and also run the report utility straight through Business Center. So the first thing you have to do is get the data from your controller onto the PC that you're running Business Center on. So the easiest way to do that is just copy and paste it with the USB stick. So um, what I have here is um, my Trimble Synchronizer data folder is where everything needs to go. So what you need to do is navigate to the folder on your device. So on your controller is go to the uh, Trimble Synchronizer data on the C drive on the device name, which this could possibly say PC or if you change the name to the tablet that you're using, just open that, go to SCS 900 data, and then choose the job that you're currently looking at, the one that you want the data from. So you would copy, um, you go to the copy, and then you would paste this onto a USB stick, and then you would have to take that USB stick and plug it into your laptop or PC, and then paste it into the same exact location on your PC. So I already have done that. So I'm already browsing my PC, C drive, Trimble synchronizer data, in the device name, SCS 900 data, and then these are all the jobs that I've already copied over to my laptop. So once you've done that, um, you're essentially ready to uh, import the data into Business Center. So um, if you don't already have a project created for this, um, this is kind of like the easiest way to get um, the project created because it's going to bring in everything with it. So um, you can go in here and create a um, a default project. So I could just say uh, create a new project and I could use my uh, template if I want to or I could just use my default template. Hit OK. And it's going to start me a new project and I'm going to go over to the field data or construction data tab and go to my job site manager. So when I go to the job site manager I can create a new site or I can add an external. So what we want to do is add an external and it's going to let me drop down this menu of the projects that I've copied over. So I copied over this dollar general is the one that I want so I'm going to hit OK. And you'll see that it brings in um, the site name, the site calibration, the control points and anything associated with it in your uh, controller. So you can close out of that and we can go into import results. So if we want to look at the, the, the data, we can go to the, the add external over here and click on that and it's going to say what design do we want to bring in. So I have four different designs on that job, so I'm just going to bring in my finished design and hit OK. And if you have um, overwrite protection enabled, that's OK. Um, you're going to get a pop-up and it's just going to ask you do you want to import the external design data from the controller? So we want, yes, we want to do that because we should have that data correct on our controller. So we want to just say OK to that. And it's going to bring in our uh, information that was stored on the controller in addition to the line work and the surface. So you can see this is all the CAD line work that was in the finished design model. So after we get that design in there, we can say we want to import the results and if you hit import results, it's going to ask you what work order do we want to import the results of. So the previous topo that we did, I called it export to report utility. I'm going to click on that one, hit OK, and you'll see that now it brought in this surface and the points that we shot out in the field. So if you look at this in 3D, you'll see that the surface is also there and um, it's already created so we don't have to do the extra step of creating the surface it's already there and you can turn that on or off depending on the visibility that you want to see so you can also go to your project explorer and you can expand your external designs you can see here are the four designs on the controller and also the three work orders that we created on the controller so everything gets kind of organized here so you can easily look at it. Um, and then once you are happy with this and you want to maybe run that you, you report utility, 
you're going to come over here to this report button and it's also going to look like the list of work orders you'll see which one do you want to pick here so we're going to say export to report utility hit ok and it's now going to open the siteworks report utility and bring in those nine points that we shot with all the information that we need. So here's our point name, code, northing, easting, elevation, along with all this other data that we, we may or may not need. So you can go ahead and make a custom report out of this or uh, print this out. <clears throat> so one important piece of the puzzle here is you have to make sure that this Excel file is in the correct location. So um, the way to find that is you want to go to the options. So you go to your options, you can find it on that quick pick button there, or you can go to the support tab and click on options. And once you get in here, you have your project management. This is where everything uh, gets saved from Business Center, so you can change the path. And then here is where um, you tell it where your uh, file locations are for the Trimble Synchronizer folder, um, your project template folder, and your, your uh, office synchronizer. So what you want to do is go down to the field data, and this is where the field data file locations are. So it's asking for the work order report template. So this is where you put the report utility Microsoft Excel file. So it has to go in, you have to basically tell it where that file is located so that it knows where to open it from. So I have mine right in the Trimble Business Center um, folder. So you can just browse to it and you'll see that it's right in that file uh, location. So you more or less just have to point your computer to that location so that when you click the button it can open it automatically so that's the key to opening it in Business Center versus just opening it from your PC